Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima taking another true first impressions look at Gravabots, a PlayStation mobile game by Julio Lemos. This game costs about, I think it was about $3, something like that. I don't remember all the prices off the top of my head, but oh well, they'll come back to bite me eventually, and to be fair, I don't really care till then, so let's do this anyway. Me hey, too, Gravibots. Very slowly moving menus. Okay, let's just start right away. We won't even bother with the... Won't even bother with the tutorial. We'll just get right into it. Okay, so this is stage one. The beginning. What do we do? Okay, let's see. D-pad moves our character. Um, circle gets rid of that thing. Square puts me on to stage 26. Um, I don't think that was intended. How, how the hell did I do... What, what am I doing here? Wait, square put me on stage 25. Why is the square button the thing that sends you back to the previous... I don't understand. Uh, okay, hold on. What am I actually doing here? Okay, touching brings up lives and stage. <sighs> Crap, I press square again. Alright, I'm gonna go play the tutorial. Because this is indeed another headache. Thank you, game. Now, how do I quit out of this? Okay, start works. Alright, so give me the tutorial. The tutorial. Yeah, I, uh, really didn't need to be that... Um, my dog won't stop barking. Please go up and take the green trap. Oh. You can actually reverse grab it now. Put it below the downward spikes to destroy the bot. Put it at below area is blinking. A green trap turns into a red trap. Now you're in your position on that. Now go down and just take the green trap. So you destroyed all the bots. Now go clear all the levels. Okay, so you take the traps and you put them under the robots and you... That was the shortest tutorial ever, but... Okay, so we, we take the traps and put them under the bots and the bots explode. And that's how we play Gravity Bots. Okay, so we take the trap here, put it here. What, what is that dog so upset about? Jesus. I don't even know. Okay, let's see. Uh, take the trap, put it under the bot. That was really easy for some reason. You think it would? You think they'd make it a bit harder after the first stage in the tutorial? But I guess not. Uh, okay, we'll take the trap and put it there. These aren't really puzzles, guys. These are the equivalent of the, like, end the way of the ninja game. Where it's like, hold button to do nothing. Well, hold nothing and just watch the guy get killed. That's basically what this is. This is boring as sin. Stage 5. It's up to you. Good. Can I actually do something this time? Okay, this looks like an actual puzzle, so... That really wasn't that much of a puzzle. The last easy level. Thank Christ for that! Okay, this actually does look a fair bit more complicated. So, we have... Damn it. <laughs> okay, that was a bit silly of me. Let's try this again. Alright, so... Oh, okay, I get it. Alright, now we just gotta wait for these guys to expire. Hmm. 
Welcome home. I am home. It's sunny. Okay, let's see. So we have... Okay, so we can't move those two traps. So those two are basically going to be going around in circles this entire time. So we have to move these two traps here to try and trap these bastards. Now, the question is, how do we actually get in there without getting killed? Certainly not the way I did it. That, that, that much is obvious, I pray. Alright, let's go. Let's actually get up there and not die this time. Okay, so I have one of the traps. Now the question is, where do I put this trap? I think the obvious response to that question would be in the middle there. Damn it! I really should have timed that bar. Let's give this another shot. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. So, we select this trap here. Time this so I don't fall down on Mr. Guy there. Damn it! I should have... My finger slipped. Ah, oh, man. This is... This is more annoying than you might think. This is this this is actually me being bad, by the way. The game has nothing to do with me constantly fucking up. So let's just go and get this and I missed. It's alright though. The game will actually account for my fuck up, which is uh Let's grab this trap real quick and make my way out here. Can I get there before they hit the end of the spot? Yes. And now it's just waiting around for these guys to kill themselves. Stage 8, Second Chamber. Alright, let's see. We have those two there who are going to walk into those spikes and not die, so they are actually kind of not completely useless. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, we have enough to spend on one trap per grabby bot, so we can do this. So I'm reversing gravity using the D-pad, and yeah, I, I really think that's obvious. Wait for this guy to go down and die. Nope, he's actually stuck there now. Game over. Why would you even bother putting lives in this game? I have no idea, and it's going to throw me back to the splash screen. Uh, let's just skip to those last three levels that I unlocked, and... Um, yeah, we'll play those instead. That menu doesn't need to be that slow. Only 20, only 25 levels, 26 levels in this game, and three of them are so bloody easy, I wouldn't even consider them levels. So like 20-something puzzles? Okay, right, let's go with another headache, and we'll have a look-see. So this game really doesn't change that much, does it? It's... Hmm. So if I take this trap, this bot is just gonna get stuck there, and we're gonna have to go down and actually do something about that, aren't we? Except I, I, I can't, because... Huh. Interesting. Alright, you know what? Square. We'll go to stage 23 and see if there's anything less somewhat silly there. Because that really feels like a timing puzzle, and me and puzzle games that rely on timing and not actual logic kind of piss me off. Alright, let's see. We have a lot of traps. Oh, no, I really shouldn't have done that. Again, why would you put lives in your puzzle game? It just it just seems like such a silly thing. And no need to put the bloody five second splash screen in front of my face. Every time I fail, that's just going to make me more and more frustrated. 
Okay, so I think the idea of this puzzle is that we're gonna wanna... We're gonna wanna trap the areas underneath these spikes so that when they eventually pass over them again... Oh, we also have to get them down off there. Interesting. Okay, so we'll plant that there. We'll plant this there. And hopefully this will do what I think it's going to do. But never any guarantees in a game like this. I should probably get out of here. I think I'm in the white line of fire. Uh, no, it turns out these two, these guys are actually stuck up there. Well, I ain't, ain't that pleasant. Okay, yeah, I have definitely gone and screwed this puzzle up, so let's... Let's give this another shot. Alright, so those two traps are there, are uh, required to... Hmm. Let's see, so I want to be trying and getting them in these spikes. So, am I going to have to make this a sort of timing puzzle? Oh. Uh, let's see, well... Yeah, they flip off there, yeah. This is a timing puzzle, if I've ever seen one. This fucking splash screen is annoying me so much! Lives and... Unnecessarily long splash screens are definitely the two things I hate to see in a goddamn puzzle game. You can reverse gravity in midair, which is quite nice. So we have four traps to use. I bet we put this one there, and see what happens. Okay, so they fall down there, they walk around, and yeah, that's actually not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, they're gonna, then they're going to fall up here, and they're going to start walking to the left, so I want to... And then they're going to fall up there, they're going to go down that trap, and then they're going to come back down here and repeat the cycle, so... Yeah, I obviously haven't picked the right place to get them out of their cycle. Screw that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Not, not terrible. Certainly not terrible. Let's go back one more stage and we'll see. Admittedly, there are some actual puzzles to be done here and I quite like that. It's just, it seems like you could solve them really quickly if you actually have a thinking mind about yourself. How about we go back a stage? Debotizer. Okay. Okay, now this is definitely more interesting. Uh, let's see. We can pull traps from anywhere and put them down anywhere. I keep thinking I'm gonna fall off in like an actual arc. And I also forgot you can apply traps from the underside, so we're gonna apply traps from the un- so how exactly do we solve this? I'm not 100% sure how exactly you'd get all these bots out of these areas and get them to walk onto a trap of some kind. I have no idea, so I'm going to stop playing before I make even more of a fool out of myself. But that was a quick look at gravel bots. Uh, I'm really not going to say my opinion on that because I was actually kind of terrible at it. But I mean, you've been... You've been through this video and you've watched me fail, so if this looks like something you might like, you know, it might be worth your time. I know it's less than three bucks, I just remember that off the top of your head. Whether or not it's worth it to you, I'll leave that to your discretion. This has been Blimaxima and I'll see you all next time.